Why is the apex corner such a tricky roundabout to enter? It's a large complex roundabout like any other, and it is light controlled, apart from the one entrance, which is most commonly used on test routes from Hendon and Mill Hill. So being able to judge a safe gap to cross the path of oncoming vehicles is an integral part of being able to negotiate the apex corner roundabout. So we picked this video up about to enter the roundabout. Okay, so at the roundabout, we're gonna be turning right third exit. When do you think that car in front is gonna go? Well, the one at the very You tell me when it's gonna... Probably now. Okay, good. What about the next one? No. Next one? All of them now. Can we get across that yeah. or are we gonna make it? No, just stop, stop, stop. No. It's too risky. Okay. By the time you get all the way across there, mm. what's the likelihood we're going to interfere with these vehicles? All right, no. so I've just stopped you. I think it might be a good idea for me to pause the video here for a second, because I'm not sure if it's 100% clear why I stopped him from entering the junction. No, just stop, stop. If you're only looking to the right, there seems like there's a big enough gap to get across. But the problem is not the vehicles coming from the right, but the vehicles right in front of him. The van is blocking his view, and the vehicles just in front of the van, if they pause, that traffic coming from the right would be on top of him in seconds. Stop. No. It's too risky. Okay. By the time you get all the way across there, mm. what's the likelihood we're going to interfere with these vehicles? All right, no. so I've just stopped you. And as the saying goes, if you don't know, you don't go. There's no way you'd be penalised for undue hesitation for making a decision to wait there. That was a little bit dangerous. Okay, so we're looking here. No one will ever know why they chose not to put a set of traffic lights for this particular entrance to the apex corner. When it's busy, you generally only get a very small window between traffic light changes. As you can see here, the trick is stay calm, keep reading the positioning and the speed of the vehicles that are coming around the roundabout, keep an eye on the traffic lights in the roundabout to assess the space, be patient and wait for your gap. Now prepare your clutch slightly so you're ready. What about after this guy? Is that an opportunity? Yeah. And we take it. And the important thing is, don't panic, don't rush. What does it say written on the ground? One X. Okay, which exit's that? The first. First. That's the oh, first. From here. So this is what oh, you should oh, be doing. Right, you should be counting it R1. off. Yes. Okay, so we count that off first. Oh, you meant for the exit. It doesn't yeah. matter. First. And then this second. one, second, and now we don't want to try and change lanes. As an extra tip, this is a very common place where people make mistakes. Quite often, people cross this line. You then find yourself in the right-hand lane, making it virtually impossible to exit the roundabout at the third exit. If you make this mistake, don't worry, just go round the roundabout again. Stay in your lane if you can. What does it say written on the road? A1S. Still green? The exit of this roundabout can also be a little bit tricky. The lane markings temporarily disappear. Yeah. Which mirrors? Centre mirror, left mirror, mirror, indicate left. When exiting the roundabout from the middle lane, it's important to hold your position. You could have vehicles coming up on your left hand side. It's for this reason that the exit of this roundabout is like a funnel. If you stick to the right hand side and then filter back in, you won't have any problems. That's the third exit, so you're not counting your exits. And you've cut across here, there's no one here, but you've cut across when the road is sort of funneling. Should we go around again and do that again? Yeah. Wait, 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 don't go anywhere just yet. I've got one more tip that's gonna help you out. If you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button, because it really does boost the channel. Hit the subscribe button too, would also be roundabout-tastic. Okay, so we're looking at the traffic. We need to get across quite quickly mm. when we can. So look for it. Is there's a gap here? Is it is it possible for us to make it? No. Sure. Edge. I would have edged. Now stop. We missed it. If you would have been edging, you would have made it. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. we didn't edge, we can't make it. The difference between this clip and the last clip is the traffic light is green ahead of us, and the traffic is flowing, which means the space that he would have been moving into would have opened up. If you look at that again, you'll notice that the black car takes the gap. And the trick here is simple. If you start edging slowly forwards and it changes, you can stop. But if you don't move, you'll miss it. Going from a standing start is quite hard here. You've got to be kind of thinking about that movement. Okay, so having a little look here, looking at those vehicles on the left-hand side. Is there a space? What about now? Yeah. 
good. Again, waiting for that gap. Now, if you're looking for a tutorial video on the Apex Corner, then I'll put a link up here and you can go and follow that. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and see you in the next one. Get well out.